Hello, um, my name is Connor Casey and this is Hannah Coombs. Together we did um, a project about investigating light pollution in Munster. And with this project we were looking for the correlation between population density and photo pollution and we found that the correlation rate was 0.95 yeah. so it was nearly linear and essentially that was our project. Um, then we made, using, using that information we were able to make a photo pollution map and uh, a photo pollution calculator which you can download on the iOS and Google Play Store. Myself and Connor, we're from Ken Mare, which is quite near the Dark Sky Reserve. In Kerry. Yeah, in um, Kerry. So it's, um, we're very used to dark skies as well where we're from. So that's kind of why we thought it was important is because like, I spend a lot of time in different cities so I see that it's quite bright there as opposed to at home. Um, this is just an example of how bad it can be, since you're from the country, so you might not be familiar with it. So this is, um, I believe it is um, Los Angeles in America. So um, uh, um, who, who does it affect? Um, it, it, well, it basically affects everyone. Um, our plants, plants, animals and humans are all badly affected by light pollution. Most people have never heard of light pollution, or those who have simply don't care about it. Uh, in fact, photo pollution costs uh, Americans uh, billions of euros, so lots of money. Um. Yeah, I'll talk about this one. So, I like one of the reasons light pollution is quite important that you guys might find interesting. I'll go for the turtles. So basically, um, turtles when they come to lay their eggs, they go onto the beaches, they lay their eggs in the sand, and then like the mama turtles will go back out to sea. And then when their little turtle eggs hatch. They'll, um, they basically try and go towards the sea so they can like start swimming and start their lives. But an awful lot of like the moon's light reflects off the sea, which is why they know where the sea is. Whereas because of there's so much light pollution, the towns that are surrounding these beaches where the like eggs are being laid means that the turtles are going to start crawling towards the main roads and the towns surrounding instead of crawling towards the sea. So this is quite a big problem, and it's really sad because you'll see these baby turtles kind of shuffling their way along very and then you know having not so good an end with it so that's quite a problem that they're trying to like change now and they've tried to like cover the lights it's almost like put the beach in the shadow so that they know that the sea is the right direction to go but that's just kind of a problem that's kind of more obvious for people and like animals so it has quite bad effects on wildlife and it can also have negative impacts on your sleep so it's harder to fall asleep in a bright room or or in a room, like if you don't have blackout blinds and your curtains are very thin in cities, it's so hard to fall asleep because there's so much light in the room, it practically feels like daytime. Um, okay. uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so, um, uh, in fact, 60% uh, of Europeans and 80% of Americans can no longer see the Milky Way galaxy. So that's kind of like the see the uh, like on a perfectly dark sky. This is what the Milky Way galaxy might look like. So over 60% of Europeans and 80% of Americans might see it. So maybe um, since you're from familiar with um, dark skies in your area, so you might have seen it a few times. So that's kind of, if you haven't, that's kind of what it looks like. Um, in fact, if you lived in Switzerland, you'd have to travel over a thousand kilometers to even get something even remotely like this. Um, such an area is known as the dark side. Um, so in Ireland, since the year 1990, light pollution has nearly doubled. It has gone off the Richter scale. And um, according to Professor Brian Espy, only 5% of Ireland has pristine night skies, which means perfect, pitch dark, no light pollution. So that's a very small amount. And um, he also said over half of Ireland's population lives under skies so bright that they can't see the Milky Way. So that's like one out of every two people can't see the Milky Way. And it's quite a beautiful thing. And like we all kind of see it on TV and things like that. And like we should be lucky enough to be able to see this, but because of light pollution, we can't. So for our project, we, um, we figured out that population density and photo pollution are linked to each other. And population density is just kind of showing how crowded a place is and how many people live there. For example, in a city, say there's like one kilometer squared of area, there'll be lots of people living there. Whereas in the countryside, it could literally be a field and there could be no people. So that's just kind of saying how many people live in a particular area. And um, we saw that the more people oh, lived in an area, oh. the worse the light pollution would be. Um, and then we, um, we, so we went to there, um, about 10, um, we went to uh, 20 towns around Munster 
And so we collected um, um, light pollution data using um, a little light meter like the ones you have below. It's just a bit different. Um, so what we got in this one, in this graph, so you might see on those ones, um, the higher it is, the worse it is. Well, in this one, it's a bit weird for it, like, the higher it is, the, uh, the better it actually is. So as you can see, like, like this is a bit, like this is um, in the dark side in Kerry, so that would be very um, low light pollution. And as you can see, the further you go down, the worse it is. So that is, I believe, in Limerick down at the bottom. Yeah, because there is lots and lots of people living in Limerick. It's a big city, busy city, so there's lots of lights. Whereas, and you can see as it goes down, the more across the bottom, the further to the right hand side you go, is the more people, and you can see the light just gets worse and worse as it goes, and it's almost in a line, which is pretty accurate and pretty good. And then using that we made, um, first we made a population density map, so Hannah was talking about that. So it's like, um, it shows like where like all the people would be. So as you can see, like that's Dublin, that's Cork City, that's Limerick over there. And then we, using like our project results, we were able to make um, uh, another one. This is a photo pollution map. So it's kind of similar, as you can see, they're kind of very similar to each other. Um, that's yeah. the basically the darker the color, the, the more people live there, and the worse the light pollution is. And the whiter areas are basically there's very little people, and the skies are really, really good. So, so I'm just curious, where roughly is your school? Near Bellevue. So, who can find my map? Does someone want to come up and yeah. try and point it out on the map? I know it's kind of hard to see. What who do you reckon I don't know where the school is? Yeah, you choose. Oh, I don't know if you had the hand up first. Yeah, yeah. go on. <laughs> so point it out to us there. Just there. Go. Well, I'll just say So what do you reckon? Right there? Huh? Yeah. You're actually, you need to talk to something you know you're going from country. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. you're in the whiter bit. We're in the whiter bit, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah, you're going to get to the Whereas I'm just looking where I live. Okay, I'm in the really black bit down there, Cork Harbour. All the factories, and all the parking lots of the factories. Yeah. Unbelievable. And I'll just show you first where we live, so myself and Connor. You see there's quite a large white bit in the corner there? We live right in the middle of it, in Kenmare. That, that, and I live... Connor lives further out, he lives in Blackwater. <laughs> Which so is nearer to the... Pitch dark. Yeah. <laughs> It's very it's basically beside the dark side. Yeah, it's yeah, it's basically in the dark side. Did you go to Skibbereen in the car? Um, no, that no, was no. We went to um, we went to five places in Kerry, and then from every other country or county around Munster, we went to three places. So in Cork, we went to Cork City, um, Watergrass Hill, and McCroom. McCroom. Yeah, that's yeah. The other. But yeah. So here, just over there, just up. Yeah. And now, all the way down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, we made an app, so shall I go around and show them? Yep. So basically, I'll come around to the different tables. Um, we made an app for kind of amateur astronomers to use because we thought it might be handy for seeing if your area was suitable to look at the stars, because lots of people like to do that in their spare time. And we have a calculator where you can type in a place name, like every like electoral division, so basically most towns. And you'll be able to type in a place name and it'll tell you the lux value, which you guys might, on that table, have probably heard about from the your light meters and stuff. So I'll type her in Skibbereen. Okay, I... Yeah. And so it gives you the population density of Skibbereen, which is 892 per square kilometre. And the photo pollution in this area is correlating to fair stargazing. So it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. And also on this app, we have the weather forecast, because if it's cloudy, you obviously won't be able to see the stars. We have a quiz for some people. We have a link to our Twitter page. We have the maps that were on the board earlier included. And there's a calendar. And there's a few pictures that like come across the top. And shall I? Uh, I'll go show the other table, but that's basically what it looks like. So, um, would anyone like to give me a town name and we can type it in? Well, I just down from Paragoline, alright? So, so Paragoline is a town <coughs> just over there. And, and it the says the population density of Paragoline oh, is 3,430 people per square kilometre. A lot of people live in Paragoline. 
So the light pollution is such and such. This should correlate to terrible stargazing conditions. 